Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show! Today we are going to be talking about how you should be finishing up Madden 19 and what you can potentially do to be helping yourself out for Madden 20 coming up. So we do have a couple more months until we can get into the next game. Um, I probably will be playing all the way through. I do really appreciate um, what I've been able to do with this game and what I've been able to um, share with all of you. So uh, just getting things kicked off first of all we'll be talking about how you can kind of accumulate coins to kind of help yourself out um, the first thing that I have been doing is just doing my best to absolutely clear out my binder I'm going to be talking about the silvers and golds and exactly what you can be doing with them hopefully at some point they will have a promo for all of those that have an absolutely um, stacked binder at this point and don't have anything to do with them but as of right now um, the thing that I have been doing is anything under 75 if it is not on a team that you know will go to a team diamond or if it's not a specialty card say Thanksgiving something like that I have just been putting them into a stadium set and then selling them that is a good way to clear out your binder especially of gold cards it can be any gold so definitely the 70s through 72s you can get go in and get those um, another thing um, while I am going through this we did get our rewards for um, solo battles last week though I do go in and get ultimates um, I will be going through this a little bit more later on but it is nice that those popped up as well um, and thankfully there are a few more things selling off as you can see there is a little bit of a range for what you can be selling those 76 to 79s for um, a little bit under a thousand is the bare minimum and for those stadiums you're going to be selling those for around nine thousand you'll be putting ten of those players into those sets so um, if you're not able to sell them for at least 9,000, just throw them into the stadium set and they'll sell a little bit more slowly because you have to wait for the right buyer, but just put them up for 8 hours at 9,000, 8,900, something like that. Um, it definitely is a good idea to go in and check the market a little bit and make sure you are getting... And of course we are having more things sell off. have been working this a little bit this morning. Uh, so 1500 to up to 2000 as well are what those golds do sell for. And um, actually did use up most of my low golds at this point. So I just have those 76s up um, that are selling off. I have been able to sell off about 10 stadiums. But as you can see, I'm down to 236 items. And my coin stack continues to rise. Um, I've been actually making some stupid purchases purchases excuse me um, to just kind of help out the team went in and um, because at this point of the year you might as well be spending um, the extra coins that you do you feel that you have on things um, this um, the Nardic oh my goodness McKinney I'm just gonna go with that B McKinney I uh, keep forgetting his name because I cannot pronounce his first name well I've not ever known a gentleman with that first name so I have not been able to uh, spit that out every time I have came across him but McKinney has been playing really well he doesn't quite have the strength of Ray Lewis but he has uh, three more inches than he does so he's been kind of fun to play with and test out a little bit that was a slight digression I do um, <laughs> apologize about that but um, going to the end of the year definitely just have fun with those um, with those stadiums I think I have the Redskins and the Packers set left um, and I did have upwards of uh, 600 items in my binder have been clearing those out really really quickly um, again in those exchange sets um, you can go into those team items and then toss in the unwanted golds that you do have um, in here and then you are able to have a fancy pack of any of the stadiums that you want. It's probably old news for a lot of people that have been playing for a while. Um, but you can do similar things with uh, playbooks as well. Um, going in and exchanging players, um, 
going to be getting into that a little bit later with um, some of the training and some of the items that you should be um, quick selling comparing to what you should be selling um, but with uh, silvers selling the low um, silvers or putting them into this exchange set for um, potentially power-ups because power-ups do sell for a little bit more and certain ones do sell for considerable amounts more uh, Michael Thomas and Fletcher Cox are going to be selling for quite a bit as they have players coming out tomorrow with positional heroes so that is something to definitely consider um, the power up and um, trade um, I think I have a good example down here this Lorenzo Neal oh, maybe nope, I apologize we were one more down this Lorenzo Neal um, 72 overall player just powered him up to 80 overall if you want to put him up to into the Kyle Ustrick set um, to potentially get that positional hero that is a good idea as well. And for dailies, um, it is something you really want to do continue to do that will help you with your loyalty rewards which we'll be talking about here in a second but do your favorite mode get two of those done a day solo battles are a really good idea that has great rewards and doesn't really take a lot of effort to go in and just win those games um, and then with those high silvers are the only kind of low tier cards we have not talked about you can go in and put them into this high silver to low gold player and then you can either put those low golds into somewhere else you could potentially get a power up there from some of the legends as well um, but that is something to help complete your dailies and then just getting um, something from the store I just get the 500 get a player pack um, you can get uh, leads out of that that does happen frequently um, with the fan appreciation happening this last weekend a lot of these players have gone down in their value so it just might be worth it to trade up or if you do have nat players definitely add them into here and then you can exchange them for coins because the low trading that you get from this level of player really does not help you out um, but another thing you can start to do with some of those elites are just right next to this these mutt tokens um, they are something that can help you out. Um, I do have a few packs um, built with some of these players, and I did record this a little while ago um, when I was clearing out some of my binders, so I will be cutting this in in a second. But um, just going in, this will be what they are until the end of the year. So in 86 to 87, 84 to 85, 82 to 83, you will need two of those 82 to 83s along with two 80 to 81 overalls. Um, again, a good way to do that is just go in and use your training um, any of the low power ups a lot of even like the 68 overall player power ups you can go in and get those up to 80 overall um, to 86 overall pretty easily just make sure they don't have a gold player you'll need to add into those power ups before you uh, get uh, going otherwise just sell them back if you incorrectly bought them uh, you might lose a little bit but at this point you're probably not purchasing those for that expensive so just be 100 to 200 coin loss hopefully um, but I do want to show you a couple of these packs, uh, 84 plus and an 88 plus. And we'll be talking about a couple more here in a second. So with these few packs I did have put together for how to put um, together the best team finishing up your Madden 19 season, um, I have a couple of 84 overall plus draft players um, for three gold and two silver. Um, had kind of put those together. Um, for cards that really were not going for anything at all and also an 88 overall plus or an 88 plus overall excuse me um, player and that'll be one of those Easter players and that was for a gold and elite so let's see if we can get a little bit lucky with these if we do get something that's um, a little bit plus like into the 90s It'll definitely be worth it. 88 kind of hurts, to be honest. Um, but we'll see what we can get with that 84. So at least we got into the 90s with that. That um, does not quite cut exactly what we want to turn a profit with those. There are a couple other things I will be showing you that you might be able to turn a little bit more profit with so we'll be getting those in a little bit and 
88 plus we pulled an 88 obviously that was not a great um, pull the elite badge that I did put together was pretty much net but a couple of those were players I could have sold and this 88 overall players probably not gonna be going for as much as I need them to to turn a profit so definitely go with some of the more safe methods that can flip these um, cards that you do have that aren't really worth anything that are sitting in your binder um, you can either um, I'll be going over that here in a little bit so let's get into that here so those 84 plus and the 88 plus are options um, another good option is going and getting this 89 plus team of the week player a lot of those go into power up um, kind of paths for those players or they could potentially be used somewhere else um, with those positional heroes if they are um, one of those high overalls they will go into those sets and sell for quite a bit on the day that those positional heroes do come out or if they already have came out the price is reducing but it might pop back up like a wide receiver and defensive tackle will um, on Tuesday all right the next thing that I wanted to look at was the trading for these particular players and what you can sell them for um, with the market just going down considerably with fan appreciation um, it really cut everything down 25 percent pretty much across the board um, it was really nice to go out and get those things on saturday um, but now the market has rebounded a little bit people getting their solo battle rewards getting hundred thousand or so um, some of these middle range guys are going back up in price <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, um, but the upper echelon guys have not rebounded quite as well. You can still go out and get very good trading for some of those guys. But the people in your binder, you need to um, consider who you need to sell and quick sell. So this Derek Thomas, or excuse me, wish it was a Derek Thomas in the game, but Derek Brooks um, sells for probably around 20,000 that 26,000 is probably a little bit wishful thinking his ultimate legend should be coming out as the region reason excuse me that he is still in my binder I am just uh, waiting uh, for his price to go up a little bit um, but his training um, with it being around 20,000 and training being at 2200 that'll get you um, with the tax included um, somewhere around eight or nine coins per training and when you can um, buy things for two or three it'd be a definitely good idea to sell that player and go out and get a 98 overall Ray Nitschke, Calvin Johnson, someone like that. It's going to be around 90,000 so if you have four or five of these guys in your binder you can um, go out and sell them off. Um, what you get for training for them would be um, only 10 thousand eleven thousand excuse me because they did have that 200 added in and with those 98 overalls those do get um, a little bit more hopefully my spreadsheet pulls up 37,000 for those so that is a significant difference obviously that is a little bit of time but obviously you can see in just that instance the ratio that you could potentially get for those players would be significantly better about three times better um, a couple other things I did want to note um, with those is always make sure tax is included when you're figuring those out and also um, I will be putting out a video on red chems they will be going away after this year um, for more specific things to players that are happening and they'll be more in line with um, a fast quarterback um, an Aaron Rodgers type can throw off his tippy toes sort of thing like that um, so definitely go out and have fun with those red chems they're really not that expensive anymore we're able to get uh, trading for three coins per and less than that on Saturdays it is really um, a good idea to go out and just play with those out my way secure tackler things like that are just a lot of fun um, on defense, just making sure you always get those stops on third and fourth down. Um, and as I alluded to, Saturdays are definitely the best day. There are more people on, more people selling, people undercutting each other. Um, there's not a great um, influx of people throughout the week, but on Saturdays, with Ultimate Legends coming out, there's new cards. Quite a few people are excited about them, even with Willie Anderson. Not my favorite player, but a lot of people wanted to add him to their team. So something to consider 
as you end Madden 19 is something that can help you with next year's game. I know a lot of people are just looking forward to months, so it's something that you can help out your team with now is going in and getting these objectives done. You just have to get four of them done. They did take away Mutt Squad, so that is not an opportunity anymore. Um, but something that you can do, just do three of these dailies. I'm going to talk about those a little bit earlier, um, but complete a set, get a pack from the store, and just play your favorite game twice and try to win those games. Friendly excluded, as you can see there, but obviously you can get some great rewards if you get all the way up to 99. We have talked about those rewards, um, so definitely go out and check out that if you are a little bit more interested in those. Um, but as you can see here... Um, Getting to 99 gets you six of those Mutt Loyalty tokens. We'll be looking at the sets for those to let you know exactly what you can get for those as well for this year and what they gave um, at the beginning of the year this year for those loyalty rewards because I assume they'll be similar for 20. Um, but I didn't think we got quite this far. Um, so as you are getting those dailies knocked out, um, you'll be able to play 14 if you do them um, uh, every day, so you'll have to jump on and play a few more, but if you don't want to do those, play a solo battle, you should be able to get that knocked out in one, so that's two if you just jump on for three days. If you throw three touchdowns in that one game, you're able to do that. Next game, run, rush for three touchdowns, you're able to get that knocked out. Um, so um, really not that difficult at this point. Um, We'll be going over to sets, but something else to consider that will be able to help you out this coming year are rookie premieres. They are not coming up at this point, but that is the thing that you might want to be adding to your coin stack for and why my coin stack is still um, a little bit higher at this point instead of just um, passing everything along or doing something like that. Just kind of waiting for rookie premieres. Kind of excited to have a few of those players going into next year. But these are some of the rewards you could potentially get going into next year. And these could greatly, greatly help out your team um, if you get super lucky and get 100,000 coins. I'm sure if I would do that one, I would get 1,000. Um, but if you get any of these knocked out um, going into next year, get to 99 overall, um, get two of those weeks done, you're able to get um, one of these players to add to your team next year um, without in doing anything in the game next year. So that is a huge plus, especially for people who do not spend any money, which I have not yet as of this point. So we have um, what we can get this year for these as well. Um, just an added perk to kind of get these done. The Gambler will definitely go for the packs, but I went for Aaron Rodgers. He's been playing really well. Um, have too many quarterbacks on my team, but in the few games that he has played, he has played really well. So definitely get those loyalties done and do your best to add some coins the way that we talked about a little bit earlier in the video um, so you're able to get those rookie premieres to help out your team going into Men 20. Definitely share down below if there's anything that you are doing at this point to add to your team. Um, of course, just um, consider what training is worth and always include tax. Um, the boring tips to end the video, but uh, wish you all the best and take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantane channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish and Rantane. Take care and much love, everybody.